uh, hello friends welcome to this video so in this video we will look at babel mini crash course so it is actually a javascript compiler and with the help of this library you can actually compile your typescript or any other high level code into browser understandable javascript code so we will look at an example right here where we will we will be compiling the TypeScript code into JavaScript code and execute it in the browser using HTML. So we will, it's a very simple example and we will be using this library Babel. So it has its own official website. You can just check out the documentation and they also have the setup as well for various environments. So we will look, be looking at a very basic example and we have this TypeScript file if you see in the source directory index.ts and we have written some TypeScript code you will see we have used this import export and in TypeScript if you know it actually need to declare the type of the variable let's suppose if you if this is a string variable or a, or a number at the time of compilation it actually checks these types and it converts this TypeScript code into a lib folder let me just delete this and again rerun the command so we have two commands out there in the package.json file first command lets you watch for the changes and then compiles the code so we will run the first command npm run watch compile and we also have the second command if you want to directly build your typescript code into javascript so npm run build compile so as i execute this command you will see it will execute the babel command and it will create a lib folder in the root directory and this will actually contain the javascript code which is actually converted from typescript if i open this you will see that now this code is converted to javascript it doesn't have this type checking right here so or we can actually create just type a watch compile so this what this is will do it will actually not complete but it will basically watch for any kind of changes that you make inside your TypeScript file. So let's suppose if I make any more changes, if I delete this, so it will once again execute this, you will see that. So this is a really useful. So as you make changes inside your TypeScript file, it will automatically compile it. So, so what we can do, you can also see it also generates a source map file as well. So what we can do, we can simply make an index.html file. We can include this file simply. If you want to execute it in the browser, you can make a script tag. And just include this file, which is uh, present in the same directory, index.js. And you need to just add this type parameter to module because it's a ES module because we are using import export statements. That's why you need to put this type parameter to module. If you open this with live server, you will actually see all these console log statements will be console log. You will see. So we are using third party Node.js module which is which is Lodash from a CDN. So right here from the CDN sky pack, it offers you to convert all your Node.js modules into ES modules. So we haven't installed this module Lodash. If you see, if I delete this from the package or JSON file, npmi if i don't have this lodash module installed we can also directly use this by using skypack which is a really awesome website which offers cdn links of all node.js modules if you visit their website skypack you can use any third party node.js module using a cdn link right here just replace the module name and still we can run this file if i refresh now still it works you will see that so the configuration process is really simple uh, let me delete this and start from scratch let me delete this go to package.json and simply delete all these dependencies and start from scratch so also delete this So first of all, what we need to do, we need to initialize the package.json file and then we need to install these modules. First module we need to install is Babel CLI, which is a base library, Babel core, which is a 
compiler and then babel preset env this is actually the plugin for compiling typescript into javascript so at the rate babel cli which is a base compiler babel core also and then babel preset env and then we also need a package for compiling typescript so using babel so it has a preset of typescript at the rate babel preset typescript and then we need to install them as dev dependencies so dash d so it is only required for development it is not required for production so once you install this it will list out inside the dev dependencies section right in this section all these dependencies will be installed so now it is installed so first of now we also need to install another dependency which will actually run all the scripts concurrently so this script is called as concurrently so also install this also So now you can see all these dependencies are installed in the dev dependency section. So after this what we need to do, we can actually write our TypeScript code. If you see right here, we are writing the TypeScript code. So if you don't know about TypeScript, it actually is a superset of JavaScript. And we use actually type checking right here in this file. You can declare any variable, let's suppose a string variable. We can't directly do this inside TypeScript. It will give you this error because we do need to actually put a data type if it's a string variable. And now you can't put number here. If you put number, then it will give you this error that uh, type number is not assignable to type string. So that's the advantage of using TypeScript. So at the time of compilation, you will get the error. And similarly, we can basically declare if number as well by putting number and now you can't put string because it's a type number so it's strictly type checking so this is not valid in javascript and uh, similarly we can console log some statements such as num1 plus text this is our typescript code so if you now need to compile this code into the javascript code we will actually add a script inside the package.json so the script first of all we do need to initialize the two files which are really necessary so i will show you one by one what the what this meant by this so i will delete all these files the first file we do need to initialize is a babel config.js file dot config.js so if you see the icon will also change it's a babel config file and here we need to write some things we need to initialize the presets which will be a array and babel actually contains various presets so one such preset is for compiling the typescript to javascript so this preset that we installed babel slash preset typescript and you need to put comma and the second preset we need to say is uh, babel preset dot env So presets, I 
and here we need to add two properties so what we are targeting so we are basically target all the browsers which are less than 0 0.25 so we are actually targeting the older browsers like this so presets if you see like this okay sorry this is not a javascript file it's a json file that was a problem what which is coming so just rename this file to babelconfig.json so it's a json file not a javascript file so here you add this code you provide your preset which is used for compiling the typescript to javascript here we are targeting the browsers which are 0 0.25 and modules we are setting this property to false so we are using es modules so we are not using common js we are using es modules so after this the second file you need to declare is ts config for actually configuring the typescript this file is really important and here you need to set the compiler options so what this uh, typescript compiler will do it will actually target es5 if you see it will target es5 and the module will be common js And you have all these properties source map true these are default options but the options that I have listed here these are the options that you need to set rest of the options are not required you will put strict to true so strict type checking will be there root directory here you can just specify in which directory your TypeScript code is located so my code is located in the source directory so in which directory your code is located you will put right here and in which directory you want the output code so you can also modify this also let me choose list folder so now if you run the command all the code output code will be located in the disk directory like this so you can modify all these options of the typescript compiler in the tsconfig.js json file so you have seen the, this file used inside react project angular project whenever you make those project this file will be there yes module interop is also true then it, we have the advanced options skip library check to true force consistent casing in file names to true so these are some of the options just make these options inside compiler options after you do this now you can go to package.json and inside the script section you can add these two scripts so first script will be for build process if you want to directly compile the type script code you can just add a build script and here how we do this we say npx babel b a b e l and then we provide the source directory and right here we provide the extensions dot ts and out directory we will say that uh, we need to provide a disk directory to create and also we need the source maps as well this is the actual command if you see we are initializing all the typescript file we need to create a disk directory output directory and we also need the source maps so if you now refresh and try to run this command just run npm run build uh, I think we do need to save this file So now the command is running and if you see the disk directory is, has been created and successfully compiled so babel is really fast you will see it has compiled everything which was written inside uh, this uh, if you also need to use the lodash you can just uh, say
again you can do this if you make any sort of change again run npm run build so again your comp file will be compiled now you can see the lodash module is also there so now if you want to actually watch for the changes you can add a second command which will be watching all your changes that you've done and automatically compile this so this will you will set it to watch and uh, in this command what we need to do we will ex execute the same command but uh, this time this will watch for all the changes that you make so Uh, let me s I think this is for the yeah this is this is actually the command npx pebble source extension and we basically add this flag which is dash dash watch at the very last so this flag you can just add this in the build command as well dash dash watch so Babel actually supports this and you can just change this to watch instead of build. So there is a flag which is supported right here by Babel. If you want to watch for the changes and then automatically compile this, just add this flag dash dash watch. So what it will do now, it will, if you run this command npm run watch. So it will now watch for all the changes. The watcher is ready. So if you now make any sort of changes, let's suppose if I delete this. So now if you show, it will compile this. So in this way, whenever you make changes, and now you can actually make uh, a index HTML file. Right here we can include the file. can put type is equal to module and then you can run this file directly in the browser so if you see all these console log statements are it is saying that uh, import lodash chunks is not a function just do this like this I think it's chunk So in this way guys you can do this, uh, basically you can compile this and you can run this file in the browser. By using Babel you can compile your TypeScript code into JavaScript code. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I will be seeing you guys in the next one.